here, we place it on this board. We take the scoop out, lay the bag down underneath the bucket. Then we take a scoop of sand, place it in the sluice box. Pick the box up, hold one end above the running water, and let the other end into the water gently. The water comes in, washes the sand away, or if you want to be aggressive, you may do it like this. This washes away the sand much quicker. Set the box up on the trough, pick out your rocks, gems, minerals, place them in your hand, then put them in your bag. Place the bag back up here. Hold it. All right, we'll go ahead. About two thirds, three fourths the way through the bucket. Here we are. A geode, 250 million year old geode. A piece of Illinois pyrite. We place it out on our tray. Now we clean our box. Then we finish our bucket. We have our last scoop full. Then we're just going to dump it in. We'll wash the sand away. Sand is gone. We can't see very well, so right now we take our joining box, turn it upside down, tap it twice like this. Then we look, oh, here's a garnet. Rose quartz, and that's the end of that bucket. We have it all finished. We turn this over, wash it away. These are what you find that we've seeded in the bucket. Eight pounds of sand and nearly a half a pound occasionally of materials. The materials are from Australia, Arizona, Arkansas, Illinois, Me Mexico, Finland, Australia, all over. The minerals in our sack, take it down and then we explain what we have. And that's the story. Yeah, it has some banding, like almost like a star in here. Hold it up in the sunlight there. What was that, Larry? Oh, yeah. Brazilian agate. It had, it'll show banding in it. And this is your marble. Mm -hmm. Marble made from what? Glass. From Perfect. glass. Mm -hmm. And glass is made from what? Sand. Sand. <laughs> right, you got that one. This is the way the kids got the beginning and the end in the same bucket. <laughs> this is a piece of desert rose, mainly Chalcedony rock material from the desert to Arizona. It belongs to the quartz family of rock. Northern Illinois pyrite, desert rose, selenite from Mexico, belongs to the gypsum family of rock. This is a piece of spectrolite from the country. Oh, this has got good color. We've got to get that captured. Let's get to the sunlight. In I got it already. Okay. She doesn't it. see the blue. Yeah, see right now out in the sunlight, that'll just glisten. A table this size made out of that was eight thousand dollars in quartzite. This is a piece of rose quartz, milky quartz from Little um, uh, Ida, not Ida, Arkansas. What's this? Brush your teeth with it. A fluoride. Fluoride. Yep. That's right. This is a piece of anthracite coal. All right. Whoops, I didn't get that in there. The little pieces we have that we've already mentioned, we'll put in the bag. What we have left, oh, oh here's one. You did real good. That is a Indian bead in today's terminology, or yesterday it used to be a crinoid stem, a sea lily stem. Very tiny, a fossil. All right, now this particular quartz crystal has a name. When they're flat like this on this side and the other side is nearly flat, when they're flatter like that, they call them a tabby. It's almost a, a real good tabby, but it needs to have more of a flat side, but that's what they call two flat-sided. 
Okay. <coughs> the rest of these little pieces, other than the ones we've named, we call them glacial hill. Uh, millions of years ago, three glaciers covered Illinois. One went down to the southern tip. The other one stopped about Shelbyville, Taylorville area. And this grinding up big rocks into little rocks, and thusly we have glacial hill. Get them in and this completes your collection. This lady's geode is 250 million years old. Oh, did that crack nicely? Oh, watch this. Oh my. Looky there. Got quartz scepters, quartz crystals. My goodness, very pretty. This is what we like to have for everyone. But we never, we never know what it's going to be until we get it open. 250 million years it's been waiting for you. <laughs>